so for violet it bends at 40 degrees for red it bends at 42 degrees so like that dispersion refraction total internal reflection takes place because of that uh, this rainbow will be appeared for the human beings the next important phenomenon due to sunlight is scattering scattering is nothing but change in the path of light So change in the path of light and that should be a particular wavelength is traveled to the particular distance. So what is this scattering? Yes, suppose sun so like this at the time of sunset and sunrise the sky appears to be reddish. reddish sky middle of the sunrise and sunset bluish sky middle day middle bluish means whenever the sunrise and sunset only red color is appeared all the remaining seven six colors are not appeared means they are removed by the scattering why we are going to discuss in the middle day means mid of the sunrise and sunset only blue color is appeared all the remaining six colors before the blue after the blue are removed in the scattering so what is the reason behind this scattering so there is a law called Rayleigh scattering one of the scientist What is the law of this Rayleigh scattering? The statement is the scattering is inversely proportional to fourth power of its wavelength. Means scattering of a color, change in the path of a color or a wavelength is inversely proportional to fourth power of its wavelength. That means if you see the visible spectrum. Highest wavelength is for red. Red color has highest wavelength. That's why red colors has lowest scattering. So that's why it is visible in the sunrise and sunset time. So which is the lowest wavelength? Red highest wavelength. So lowest wavelength is violet, least wavelength, because of its least wavelength, if lambda is least, scattering should be more, but we are unable to recognize the scattering of the violet color, only blue color is appeared, what is the reason, the only one reason is our eyes are not sensitive to identify the violet color. That's why violet and indigo we are unable to sensitive. So that's why violet next to the violet next to the indigo which color is visible? Blue. That's why the remaining whole time sky appeared to be blue. Not sensitive. To observe the violet color. So our eyes are not sensitive to observe the violet color. That's why blue color is visible for the most time. But there are some particles in the atmosphere. Why this scattering will occur? Because of the scatterers. Scatterers may be water droplets. maybe dust particles many other reasons suppose if these water droplets are there this scatterer size is said to be a 
if scatterer size is much less than the size of wavelength then this type of scattering will occur but if scatterer size is much more than the wavelength then those objects will appear in white means no scattering will take place that's why the size of the clouds are more than the size of the wavelength that's why clouds are appear white such like this we can understand the concept of scattering the explained by Rayleigh and this law is also called Rayleigh Jeans law of scattering which is inversely proportional to the fourth power of lambda the concept we are seeing now is optical instruments so what is the meaning of optical instruments the instruments which can respond for the propagation of light and whenever some light is incident on these instruments they used to reflect or refract or polarize the light means any phenomenon of light should be possible when light possibly falls on these type of instruments so in the world we have many optical instruments kaleidoscope binoculars traveling microscope so next uh, telescope many are there all lenses crystalline lenses contact lenses the camera lenses all these are optical instruments but in our syllabus we are going to discuss about human eye this is the best optical instrument so it's a god made we know that next uh, telescope next uh, microscope so whatever may be the order so these are the three major optical instruments the designing and the functioning of optical instruments in these our syllabus so human eye is the most important essential part in our life without eye it is very difficult to observe the world so what are the functioning of the human eye and how the eye defects are taken place and their remedials next uh, uses of microscope and uses of telescope with respect to the magnification and angular and linear so these three we are going to discuss in terms of optical instruments yeah now we will see the human eye and the different parts in the human eye so seems to be the block diagram of the human eye is like this so whenever you are watching any object the light ray from that object first touches this curved part the curved front portion of the human eye this one where I'm, my finger is there this one the curve the curved front portion of the human eye this curved front portion of the human eye is called cornea it seems to be the inner edge the first top edge of the convex lens so such, such like this so which is used to uh, what is that converge the light ray so just behind the cornea which is the uh, topmost outward curve some aqueous humor is there when we are getting emotional so the droplets will come out maybe like in a form of tears so that is uh, nothing but aqueous humor this humor water droplets which can easily bend the light again so the light which is bending or not bending it should pass through this pupil this one this one is uh, actually pupil and this is the crystalline lens this part the central part of the crystalline lens is pupil this one this oval shaped one is a crystalline lens the central part of the crystalline lens is called pupil pupil don't have any cones and rods to absorb the light that's why the light can pass through it without any reflection or refraction that's why the pupil appear to be dark dark if there are cones and rods maybe of the any angle then it may absorb the light this absorption may be visible in a form of color so light incident on this curved surface touches the aqueous humor because of this the diversion or the convergence it could pass through the crystalline lens crystalline lens has different spots the best spot of the crystalline lens is central spot called as pupil so through the pupil light will pass the top spot will be appeared as dark then this crystalline lens is connected to ciliary muscles 
So what are these ciliary muscles or ciliary muscles? These muscles can give the power of accommodation. So what is the meaning of power of accommodation? Suppose this is the object. If I place this object near to the eye, then I may not be able the whole light able to converge the whole light which is in front of the eye. Because of what, whenever these type of objects may be of the small size or large size, placed in front of the eye, the ability of the focal length is decreases. Why? What is the reason? Eye gets strain. So because to avoid the most strain, the size of the eye lens decreases. Means its focal length is decreasing. Whenever this object is moving friend, moving, moving, moving at some distance, some distance, some distance. At some distance I can be able to accommodate the all light rays which are coming out of the object. Then I can be able to see this object clearly. Whenever this object is moving away from the eye lens, the size of the eye lens increases. When it is placed in front of the eye, eye lens decreases. Moving away from the eye, at one point eye lens relaxes. So, the shape, the focal length of the eye lens is compressing and expanding with respect to the position of object in front of the eye. This is called power of accommodation. So, these muscles will compress the eye lens or expand the eye lens with respect to the position of object. Power of accommodation. So what is the meaning of power of accommodation? The ability to decrease or increase the focal length of the eye lens. with respect to the position of object in front of eye. is called power of accommodation. Then the ciliary muscles which are connected to the retina. The retina acts like a screen means it has cones and rods retina is like a screen contains cones and rods which are uh, shaped perpendicularly like a metal grill then which absorbs the light which can able to identify the color of the light source also means color of the object and this retina is connected to the optic nerve which converts the this optic nerve is connected to the brain what is the work of this optic nerve which converts the signal light rays into electromagnetic waves for the sensation of brain this optic nerve is connected to brain so this whole thing will done in fraction of second that's why we are able to identify the object clearly so this is a small information about the different parts which are included in the human eye and the functioning of the human eye. But there are some defects of the human eye. Means uh, there is a defects of vision, long sightedness, short sightedness, color blindness. So we are going to discuss all those things. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.